Hey guys, maybe you are uh, somebody who wants to share the gospel with someone else and you're just not quite fully sure how to go about doing that. Well, this is one method. There are various other methods um, that I use and have used in, in the sharing of the gospel. And uh, I'll say this at the outset, one of the things I try to recall each time I present the gospel with somebody is four things, God, man, Christ, response. God, man, Christ, response. So I want to talk about God, His holiness. Uh, he is a holy God. He will not allow sin. I want to talk about man, and that is we are sinful, that we are depraved. We're separated from God because of our rebellion against Him. We don't love Him like we should. Uh, we don't seek Him. We seek uh, sinful ways. Um, Christ, Jesus is the hope for our salvation, and if and He came and lived the sinless life. Um, he was born... Uh, sinless and he lived the sinless life for us and he took our sin on the cross and he died in our place and he rose again from the dead three days later. Um, and then fourthly is um, response. You can't just present the message. You also have to call people to respond to the message. And the response is that they must turn and trust. That they must turn from their sin and from whatever it is that they're valuing above God and that they must trust. They must place their full trust in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. Not in their performance, not in some sort of turning over a new leaf, but in actually trusting in what Jesus performed for them. And so that's what I do. But um, here is um, one method that I will use, and that is um, when I'm encouraging people and I'm talking with people, especially with people who are... Um, not very familiar with Christianity or even uh, antagonistic uh, to it in some ways, um, then I will use this. I'll kind of either use your finger or just use like an arrow of some kind, um, draw a little arrow on a sticky pad. That's what I've got here. And I'll just say, um, you don't even have to use this. This is just a one way, but I'll hold it up and say, um, where did everything come from? Where did all of this come from? This, this, the sun, the moon, the stars, the, uh, you know, creation where did it all come from and then I'll let them answer and then I will say now what went wrong because if there's one thing that pretty much everybody that I've talked to agrees with that things are broken in this world things are not right there's there's uh, just brokenness everywhere why and ask them to give you the reason for why the world is broken and then you want to do this and say, or rather this, and say, what's the solution to the problem? You know, they already told you what the problem is, but what's the solution to the problem? And for some, they may mention, you know, um, a better education system, maybe uh, better politics, um, something along those lines, uh, feeding the poor, something like that, who knows, but they'll, they'll have some, you know, solution to the problem. A lot of people honestly will just say there is no solution. Um, and then the last thing you're going to do is point this way, and you're going to say, what comes after this? What comes after this? Like, after we die, and we're buried in the ground, what, what happens? Like, what goes on? What, what's, what's happening? And that'll give you a clue about where they are. And then what you do after you've let them talk, they, people love talking, you give them plenty of time to talk and give their reason for why the world is in the mess it's in, and what the solution is, and what's coming after this, and all of that. Then... You say, hey, would you like to know um, what the Bible actually says about that and what, what it is that uh, I would, I've come to communicate with you today? And typically after they've been talking so much, then they'll usually kind of be like, okay, yeah, you share your thing with me. And then you say, now I asked you, um, where did all this come from? And you said the Big Bang Theory or something along those lines. Well, God actually says in the Bible that it, He created all of this, the sun, the moon, the stars, all creation is his work. I asked you what went wrong with the world and you said that you um, thought it was just because, um, I don't know, whatever reason that they gave for why the world is broken. And you say, you know, the Bible actually says the world is in the way it is now because in the Garden of Eden, after God had created Adam and Eve and put them in the perfect garden, they decided that they were going to rebel against his perfect word, that they were going to disobey his word, and they were thrust out of the garden and 
uh, since then, all generations have uh, carried on this uh, inherited sin nature from our forefather, um, far forefather and uh, and uh, mother uh, Adam and Eve, and uh, so that is what is wrong with the world. The reason why there is evil in the world, the reason why there's brokenness in the world, is that creation has been marred, and uh, and it is uh, in revolt against uh, uh, what uh, God created to be pure, and uh, we have uh, it has become corrupted because of our sin. And then you point it up and you say. What's the solution? You told me the solution was better education system or something along those lines, but even then you couldn't really quite justify how it would solve the real problem. Well, the Bible actually says since the problem is sin, then the solution has to be salvation from sin, and that's exactly what God did through Jesus. He came and He lived the sinless life for sinners, and He died the sinner's death. He took the punishment that we deserve for our sins. God's a holy God. God must punish sin. And our solution is in none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts 4.12, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved than the Lord Jesus. Um, and then you point that way and you say, Now I asked you what comes after this, and you said whatever it was they said. And you say, the Bible actually says that what comes after this is, uh, It is appointed unto man, uh, to, wants uh, to die and then to face the judgment. And you can talk about the judgment day that is coming, that God is uh, a holy God and must punish sin, and that God and that uh, history is not going in a circle, it's actually going in a line, and that it is coming to a point in history when uh, all of humanity is going to stand before the great white throne and be judged, and uh, that uh, Jesus is coming back and that judgment is going to happen. And, uh, and then you can call them to respond uh, because the judgment is, uh, has already been passed for all who um, will reject Jesus and call them to uh, stop rejecting him and to place their faith and their trust in the only hope of salvation, Jesus Christ, and, um, and how that transforms them. So that's just one uh, way that I like to uh, share the gospel, and um, I hope it's helpful for you guys.